This is Dr. Phil Chavez of the Men's Academy. Switzerland Brothers is an interesting country given its approach to government and its military. August 1st is Swiss Independence Day, which marks the founding of the Republic of Switzerland in 1291. Now that makes it the oldest republic in existence. Now I think there are vital lessons for men brothers in the Swiss people. While countries withdraw from conscription-based armed forces, the Switzerland continues to mandate military service for all male citizens. In lieu of that, they can do other civilian service. Now the people possess a kind of military preparedness. Regular soldiers constitute only a small part of the military. The rest are conscripts or volunteers, men who live and work as citizens of the country, yet are part of a standby army what some call complete soldiers, that is active citizens ready to take up arms. The regulations of the Swiss militia system stipulates that citizen soldiers also keep their own personal equipment, including all assigned weapons. In question of war, brothers, it's not just a matter of the military being prepared, but the Swiss people themselves are prepared. Now the Swiss don't engage in conflicts within other countries. For the most part, Switzerland remains neutral. But it does preserve concern for others, and so it participates in peacekeeping missions. The Swiss defense concept is tied to its foreign policy of autonomy. So while Switzerland is central location too, in preservation of its identity and its willingness to compromise its people, the country keeps an isolationist position, unwilling to join and to yield to policies of international organizations. So consequently, the Swiss resist involvement in NATO and the European Union. Sure, brothers, there's no perfect system of government with complete advantages, but the Swiss do seem to have many. While resisting engagement in war, men are ready for battle. While avoiding international conflicts, it will assist other nations with humanitarian needs. And while Switzerland has a central location in Europe, it does not allow incorporation into other countries so as to avoid yielding to international policies. If men want a lasting republic, I think they need to look at these practices. Now, brothers, as Switzerland proves focused and disciplined in government and military, it's no wonder that in 1506, Pope Julius II utilized its soldier base, establishing the Pontifical Swiss Guard. This Vatican force is among the oldest operating military units in the world. Brother Scott, be with you. We appreciate you viewing our Manly Minutes. Thank you for whatever donation you can offer to make our content possible. Go to themensacademy.org backslash donate. Thank you.